Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. London. Cassius Rye from London. We're at the Frotch Boutte Way in here in Nottingham. With me, I've got the legend, Dan Ray Phil. How are you, sir? I'm very good. My first time in England. It's been great so far. Is this your, really your first time in England? It it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful country that I've seen so far. And, Great fans here at the way-in. I'm having a blast. You could not have picked a better day to come here, to be honest. The sun's shining. <laughs> See, everybody tells me. It's not raining. It's not cold. It's been unbelievable. Okay. Um, Carl Froch, Lucien Boutet. Obviously, Carl's coming off the back of a, a defeat to Andre Ward back in December. He's stepping in at, at the elite level, straight in with Lucien Boutet. How did you see this fight going, Dan? You know, number one, I give I give Lucien Boutet a lot of credit for having the willingness to come to Nottingham to defend this world title. He didn't have to do it. He's gonna he's gonna end up making probably a little less money than he could have if they had stayed at home and fought Frotch in in Montreal or brought some other boxer over there to fight him. So all credit to, to him. And I understand where Carl was coming from. He's been on the road for the last couple of years through the Super Six, uh, except for the one fight at the beginning of the tournament. So he wanted to have a hometown fight and would have foregone this fight against Butte if he wouldn't have come here. Uh, Eddie Hearn said that they would have taken on Lombardo Andrade or someone of that caliber and just done a fight here at the arena. Um, but it, it should blend into be a tremendous fight. Both guys got good, fun styles. Uh, they complement each other. Both can punch. Both are at the elite level. I love this fight. Uh, what's the American perception of Carl Froch? What do people over in America think of Carl Froch? Two-time world champion. Could be a three-time world champion come tomorrow night. I think mainly people like to watch him because he usually makes a good fight. I mean, he's, he's brash, so they've gotten that personality. They've gotten to know him through some of the telecasts in the United States. Uh, he's, a, he's a good puncher. He's a, a got a great chin. He's in, and he gets credit because people like, even when he's lost, he still fought the very best fighters out there, and, and uh, people appreciate that. Um, over in America, um, what fighters do they talk about over there that we have over here? Well, I think it's probably the same guys that are, that are talked about here. I mean, the, the biggest names among the active guys are Amir Khan and Carl. And then if you look at David Hay, who was retired, now coming out of retirement, they're the three biggest names, I think, in the UK scene here, as well as the ones that are best known in the United States. Now, Dan, I know you already know about iFilm London, didn't you? Well, um, obviously, you've tweeted a few of uh, our yep. videos out before. Sure. So um, we're just doing our thing out here. And you know, one day, we might be as big as you, Dan. <laughs> Listen, you guys do a great job with those, uh, those videos, the weigh-ins and the press conference. I enjoy them a lot. Well, the internet is like a massive market now for, for boxing. And you know, we're just trying to, obviously, utilize that, to be honest. And as you should. Terrific. All right, well, Dan, thank you very much for talking to iFilm London. It's a pleasure to have you on here. And we hope tomorrow delivers a classic fight. I hope so. I hope you're right. I hope we get a great one. Just say hello to our fans at iFilm London, please. Now. Hello, iFilm fans. Keep watching those videos. Thank you very much. I feel love.